the expression uppercase and lowercase actually refers to the position of the printer's type case. And when they, f shortly after they started printing, uh, they had one case that held the capital letters and one case that held all the small letters. And on the stand that the printers operated at, since they didn't use capitals as often as the other letters, that type case was moved to the upper position, which meant they had to reach further and would actually slow up the typesetting. I happen to have a type case. It's not the uh, publishing case that we're used to. It's called a Yankee job case. And it incorporates all of those things in one type case. However, they still place the capitals at the top of the case and the small letters or the minuscules at the bottom part of the case. The capitals go almost alphabetically, except for the J and the U, which are at the end, and that is because they were first setting type in Latin, which didn't need those letters. Remember when you looked up at the word museum above a museum and it was spelled with V's? That's why. And the small letters are grouped so that the most commonly used in our, in our language are grouped centrally so that the typesetter doesn't have to uh, go move his hand very far when he's picking up the pieces of type and placing them in the composing stick. 